So I picked up this uh, sound bar here, Power Sports Amplified Sound Bar. Uh, by Sound Extra, it says Sound Extreme SE26. So we're gonna try to hook that up, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to hear the music over that uh, machine. But there's gonna be some issues involved because, uh, well, let me show you. All right, so that's the speaker, and it's not terribly heavy. It's uh, I don't know what the weight is, but it's uh, you know something that needs to be mounted. And I uh, can't just be, you know, zip tied. So they, they have these brackets on the end that go on the end there. And you see the, the one hole, you would have to go up and mount it to uh, the roll cage somewhere. Uh, and they also have along the top there some, some holes that uh, are possible other secure points. But the problem is this machine, hold on a second, let me take it inside. This machine has, I just rinsed it off because it was all money, but uh, no straight pipe to accept you know this no matter where you put this bar there was no place for the you know for these to to hang you know what i mean like uh because this is at an angle these are at an angle no place to do this so i thought i'd uh, get the camera and maybe uh give some people some ideas i got a few ideas one of them was to uh, make a tube i got some tubing like this a little heavier duty and just welding in a section and then uh you know for more of a factory look but i really don't uh, want to get into that because you know coping this tube into another tube uh, it's going to take a while so I got some angle iron some scrap angle iron I think I'm just going to make a, a piece across the top here uh, I do have to worry about getting in this little machine hitting your head on it so it needs to be kind of out of the way but I guess the first thing to do is get this roof off and see what uh, and get this angle iron and try to do uh, you know get the speaker up there so, so we can see where it kind of spans between it between the two and hopefully the angle iron will support it all right, so taking that roof off is just uh, six bolts on the top there, really light, easy to do. But now I can get up there and figure out where I want to put this, uh, either going to do it out of pipe or uh, angle iron. I'm thinking, you know, something like this, a piece of angle iron, uh, you know, or a piece of pipe. I don't know, I think I'm uh, putting a piece of pipe in. Uh, so I just chopped uh, a 45 off both ends, and I'm going to use the grinding wheel just to... Uh, Kind of just grind in there, cope it out, and just keep going back and forth and getting getting somewhat of a good fit uh, because I'm going to weld this on there. So it, it, it doesn't even be perfect, but we'll get it close enough. All right, so I loosened up all the bolts. I took off this front part of the carriage here. It's just going to make it a lot easier. It's easy to do. There's only, uh, I don't know, these thick ones basically came apart easier than I thought it would. So uh, this is kind of what I was talking about now. It's not perfect, I might have to work it a little bit, some gaps, but I can fill that in with weld. So I'll just uh, clean this up, weld this up, but uh, I can't really weld this until, because uh, this is uh, this is backwards. This is, uh, the front would be, the, the windshield is here, where the windshield will be. So I, ha I have to drill holes from above, because I think I want to, uh, let me go get that speaker and I'll show you. So I'm thinking, because the bar uh, comes, you know, even with the uh, top, this will be on the bottom. I'm going to use some holes here and not the uh, the end hangers, right? Because just for, you know, when, I'm not going to use them all one, two, three. But I just use the four or one, two, three maybe. And then just uh, we'll drill through here, come out the other side, and have, you know, a bigger hole here so we can put the bolt through. It'll catch there and we can cinch it up that way. I think that's probably the best way to go. Then all the bolts are hidden. All right, so I got the, uh, I'm about ready to put this bar on. So I drilled, I don't know if I pointed this out, drilled right through uh, both sides for the, you know, speaker box. But on this side, I just cut out some, uh, whoop, where the hell are we at? Some bigger holes here just so when we, you know, feed the screw in uh, and, and the top will go over there. So these holes didn't have to be perfect, but this is going to have to go like so. All right. I'll just weld it right on there. All right, so I just got the bar tacked on there because I didn't know if that was going to be the fitment, but that actually is per almost perfect. I think it is perfect. Um, the inside, you know, you can get it to all to your display, but the, I was wondering about this uh, LED light, whether it was going to be able to function or not because the roof comes down a little bit and uh, it looks like it's going to be LED lights. going to work good. It's a little bit uh, pointed down, but that's fine. It'll point on a road. If I have to trim that uh, that roof, if it does come down and blocks it a little bit, but I also have to put the windshield on, so I'm going to leave the roof off for now. We'll see what see what it looks like, and then I'll have to, uh, room to uh, you know zip zip tie everything. So I think that's going to work out good. So 
I'll take that back down. All I did was, uh, let me show you over here. You know, with the screws, I got stainless screws up there. Just, just the three of them plugged into that track, and that, that'll hold it for shizzle. Uh, so, anyways, like I said, I gotta weld this up and see what it looks like painted up. I think that'll come out good. Yeah, we got it welded on. Uh, it's kind of staying there permanently. It's welded uh, shut. I gotta probably drill a little bit of hole, weep holes. Actually, the top might have enough. I don't know. When I flip it over, I'll see. But uh, uh, because of water gets stuck in there, I don't want it to kind of leak into the speaker, if you know what I mean. Because if you can see those weep holes in, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, the top of the original pipe, there's one there. I'll just drill a, a couple of weep holes. All right, so the bar is done and uh, kind of looks stuck. But the uh, that thing took about 45 minutes to, to make that pipe and uh, weld that in there. Maybe an hour with the paint, but uh, check this out. Hold on a sec. So I'm wondering, uh, you know, where the battery was because I want to wire this thing, you know, and hide all the wires. So I ended up, uh, you know, I'm into this probably a couple hours now. Uh, I'll show you show you where the battery is in case you're wondering because I was like, what the hell's the battery? Looking everywhere. I got in the manual and then uh, uh, I got to get a light. Let me get a light. Yeah, so I was looking through the manual. There's nothing in about a battery except for one sentence. It's under the uh, left rear, the left rear compartment. And I was looking around. That's a big ass battery box. So I wasn't expecting this uh, this big honker here. I was like looking for a motorcycle battery cover. But anyways, I found it. There it is. And uh, these two little wires with the blue connectors is what came with that uh, stereo. So I put them there, and I ran it obviously that way. I'll show you what I show you what I did. So it only comes with eight feet, so I had to splice because I don't have an eight foot. Um, anyways, behind here, I was able to reach behind and grab it with my uh, hand, and uh, you know, zip tied it there. I kept going. I don't know if you can see it over there. And uh, all these panel, all these panels are loose, so I, you know, separated them a little bit, ran it down, ran it by the fuel pump. As you can see, it turns out over there. And then, uh, I mean, just all this stuff just for hiding the wire. Um, it comes out over there, and you know, if you pry this out a little bit, you can see the wire there. And I made a connection here because uh, this this end here uh, will marry up to the to the stereo or to the boombox there, or whatever. Because uh, it comes with ends. This came with an end. I clipped that end off, and I had uh, this old battery tender which had the same kind of uh, connector uh, but there was something wrong with this so it was no good but the wire was still good so I, that's what I'm going to use and that's what this is so then I came back up well I got slack in it now because I don't know how far up uh, I need but the end is uh, same, same deal right so everything's going to be watertight so let me get the handlebars I mean the uh, roll bar on and uh, before I pack this up try to get the stereo or again the speaker see if it works before I button all this up because uh, taking all this off and this these come off I think that was the last piece to come off it's just uh, push pins and actually a lot of them <laughs> a million push pins and a few uh, few of them you just got to keep going around tugging on it oh more tugging on it this is a hinge you know I just kept going around and uh, I got a lot of goddamn bolts nuts like I said probably an hour or so just running a wire. Anyways, we're almost there. Let me uh, put the handlebars on, or the uh, the roll bars on, and, and wire this thing up. See what we got. So it does recommend that if it's going to be plugged in for more than 48 hours, to uh, either have a toggle switch or disconnect it because it does have a uh, an amp draw. I don't know. You know, probably ain't much, a couple of milliamps. But if this thing is like uh, going to sit around for a while, which it does, just disconnect it. All right, so uh, let's see how this thing sounds. I got, uh, whoops, I got uh, the speakers on, no LEDs yet, but I, I just got it on normal where, where these LED speakers just kind of bounce with the music. I thought that was pretty cool. Let me play something here real quick.
All right, so I got some final thoughts on this uh, speaker. So this is why I bought it for an ATV, right? But you can see how they uh, they have this straight bar, and uh, you know it's mountable. And this fella here has it on a bench. I don't know where it is on this boat, but uh, you know, a golf cart again. You know, it's it's a straight piece, and I do like that they included. I was really, uh, you know, they have multiple ways like several ways you can mount this thing of course I like this deal here with uh, where, where you can clock this anywhere you want it right in other words if you want the speakers facing down a little bit you know you would just position this and this is just a mount that you could use uh, like just clamps in a rubber piece you know two on each side and they give you uh, four clamps two different size clamps so I like that and there's all kinds of hardware that you can use um, and some rubber here for, I guess, going under, you know, under the pad here. If you want to stick it on something. Now I ended up. Uh, they also include this, this, this piece here has a, I don't know, about seven, uh, seven or nine holes that you can, you know, use use uh, like these one-inch deals to mount it. Because this machine here has no straight bars <laughs> at all, except for this. Uh, this piece in the front which is not long enough that's why I had to make uh, you know this this secondary piece to, to have it long enough to use the existing holes on the top that's the way I did it and it's mounted good uh, so that being said this the you know how many ways you can mount this I, I literally couldn't mount this on this machine this is a, a, a 2022 uh, or, or 2022 um, uh, CF moto uh, 800 there so maybe with the EX it's a little wider this is a little skinny bitch uh, maybe the bar would be wider you could do that uh, maybe the 950 I don't know I'm just you know in my situation I did have to add that bar but the quality of the sound is good I like that uh, again I haven't taken it on a trail yet so you know time will tell that uh, so I just throw in my two cents and it's, it's a pretty quality thing I, I do like that they give you a million ways to mount it Except for <laughs> you need, you know, a million ways in one uh, if you're going to have a CF Moto 800 trail. Anyways, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching.